In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to estimate the limit of a function using a calculator. For this particular video, I'll be using a TI-84 calculator, but it could also apply to, say, a TI-83 calculator. So the problem I'm looking at is I want to figure out the limit of my function, x squared minus 9 all over x plus 3, as I choose x values closer to negative 3. So let's go ahead and gather up some x values close to negative 3, then we'll take them and punch it into our calculator and see what the y values are doing. Some x values that I will choose are negative 3.1, negative 3.01, and negative 3.001. Uh, to see why I'm choosing these values, note how all of these are on the left side of negative 3. And they're getting closer and closer to negative 3. So I'm looking at what those value, values are doing as they get closer uh, so that I can examine the y values of the function. We also want to look at what things are doing on the right side of negative 3. So also in my table, I'll throw in negative 2.9, negative 2.99, and negative 2.99. 9, 9, 9. So again, look at all those. They're all on the right side, and they are getting closer to negative 3. Now I'm also going to put negative 3 here on my table, even though we won't use that in our calculator. But I'm basically using it as a placeholder to say, hey, look at where my x values are getting close to. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our calculators to see how we can estimate all of these values. So the first thing we need to do is get our function into the calculator. And the way we do this is we go to our y equals screen. So I'm going to type in parentheses, x squared minus 9, close parentheses, all divided by parentheses, x plus 3, close parentheses, enter. So that basically just takes my function, puts it into the calculator. Now let's go ahead and press our graph button to see what it looks like. As it draws it, you can see that it, our function looks like a pretty straight line. So I'll basically be choosing values close to negative 3 down here. To make the calculator do this, we need to use uh, the calc function. So go to second and press the trace. It has a little calc above it. Calc. And then we'll use option 1 that says value. So I'm going to press enter. Now here's where we can basically type in what x value we want to plug into the function. So starting with our first one, I'll use a negative 3.1 and then press enter. The calculator won't take too long to compute it, but you can see it does give me a y value, negative 61 tenths. Now that's pretty good, but sometimes we actually want a decimal or an estimate. To get that decimal, you can go to mode and then basically scroll down and it says answer is an auto decimal or fraction. I'm going to change that to decimal and actually make it give me these uh, decimal equivalents. Okay, let's go back to our graph. So graph. And now go to second calc, first option value and type in that negative 3.1 again. There we go. So it looks like we get a negative 6.1. To find the rest of our values, we'll basically do the same thing over and over again. So second calc, option 1 is value, negative 3.01, enter, negative 6.01. Second calc, value, negative uh, 3.001, enter, negative 6.001. So you can see that, you know, when we have these x values on the left side, it looks like things are getting close to negative 6. And that would be a, a pretty good guess for what the limit is. Now, of course, we also want to check things on the right side of negative 3 just to be on the safe side. Let's plug in those guys and see what we get. So negative 2.9, negative 5.9, second calc value, uh, negative 2.99. 5.99, second calc value, negative 2.999. There we go. 
So you can see that as we're choosing x values on the left side, it's getting close to negative 6. And as we're choosing x values on the right side, we're getting close to negative 6. So a good estimate as to what's happening as my x approaches negative 3 would be that our y values are approaching negative 6. So we will use that as, our, as an estimate for our limit. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.